Yellow duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola. We're still in the middle of this fight trying to deal with these monstrosities and we're slowly slowly whittling them down. Um, Now, the terror one is the one that's causing an issue, but we're trying to deal with the other one. Actually, I'm going to try to poison that one, just to see if we can... So yes, we can poison um, this. There we go. Right. And don't worry about will help us until oh boy. We're getting Oh okay. So he went down. That means I can use Skull of Life. And actually, is there a construct over there? Let's use a potion. We're working our way. Let's do a stun. Can we do that? Uh, it hit at least. Um, he doesn't have any potions or anything to really help, but that gets rid of the fragrant. Now, can't get over there, but we can swap to the bow. And let's throw another level of poison on him. That's a big worry, but thankfully it, it's hitting the one of us that's close enough to cause an issue. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure if I should go inside the tower again. I'm not even sure if I should head this way because these guard wolves are here. Um, oh, I guess, I guess our fight there is over, so yeah, we got that, let's go and heal, there we go, alright, alright, Oh, it still says that I haven't fully done that, so let's actually go back in and see. Maybe we have to go back up to the tower for them to admit defeat. Um, but let's save just because... Otherwise, we're kind of running the risk of when you try to ascend Watcher's Hall, Guard Box, you am sorry, Haven I, Watcher, everyone has sent word. You're not allowed to see them anymore. Their feelings are very, very hurt. <laughs> oh, 
their feelings are hurt. Hmm. Poor them. Alright, I guess we're going back to Slivin to see Ishtara and see what she has to say about this. I have embarrassed the High Council. I know, the story traveled fast. The guards of the High Council told it to everyone luckily. Things are coming together quickly. Lania sent messages to me. He came to me. Others are emerging too. Trench folk ready to speak out. We are all taking risks now. This is the time. There is one final step. What is that final step? Princess Viola, I, Ishtar of Ariel, ask your help. Go to your general. Send your soldiers into our woods. Tell them to protect us so we are not slaughtered when we present our demands to the blessed. I will wait next. Okay, we have apparently reclaimed the Ariel now. The only issue it now is to deal with the new calamity, or the re reoccurring calamity. It, it should be. Um, wait, went the wrong way there. Let's. Okay. General Toro. I have met with the High Council. General Toro listens attentively to your story, then something very strange happens. He leans back. Odd creases appear on his skin no, on the skin of his face. He convulses slightly. A strange noise emerges from him. The old fossil is laughing. What is so funny? Oh the Ariel, they never fail to disappoint. So much power and wealth, and their leaders sit in a tower and dispense dispense such nonsense. Well, we have learned all we can. Now all that is left is the processing, I suppose. We must deal with this vessel. I have another question. It's time for the uh, for the East Battalion to take action. The entire room gets very tense. All listen carefully. General Toru leans forward. The East Battalion is ready to fight. Who can we battle to make the Ariel our vassal skin? Ishtara of Sil of Sliven will take seats on the High Council with our help. A sister, I command it. You are genuinely amused, the blessed being made to face reality. And I get to see it. Quite a pleasure. We will send the first soldiers to slip in to see what she needs. Let's watch what happens. The entire camp goes into action. They prepare their weapons, split into bands, discuss plans, some leave to the north, others wait for new orders. Your work in the Ariel is concluded. Under Toru's leadership, the Ariel will be our vassals again. Your mother will be very pleased. You're closer to completing the mission she gave you. Alright. Um, let's go to Refuge in the Wood once we're outside of this. and see we enter the refuge of the niece. It's, it is still pretty, yet it is cold and lifeless. There's a deathly chill in the air. The plants are starting to wilt. The calamity has returned and it has even affected this remote place. The niece have withdrawn. Seriously? Okay, well, wait a bit. As you step through the door, you hear a whispered warning. It comes in the out of the air. Turn back, princess. If you take another step, you will be the enemy of the niece evermore. You will pay with blood. Just go. Go home where you belong. But I need to solve the mystery. Save here because this is 
There you got the warning. Oh, lovely. This hole is far less peaceful than the rest of the refuge. It reeks of blood and sweat. You hear deep growls coming from behind the gate's head. Oddly, there's another one of those pedestals with coins in the middle of the hall. When you entirely, when you are entirely inside the room, the gate slams shut behind you. You are trapped. Then an instant later, the two niece proprietors of this place appear. Brandyord looks very sad. We warned you. He could have helped. Why does Haven always invade? Can't you listen? Now we will have no mercy. Now the second calamity will claim you. But they're not out there. They're not. They're not where we could talk. Actually, you know what? Yes. Let's load this and we'll go back here. Um, what if we go and open this other locked door or we try to sleep? What about that? Door is locked and you don't have a key. Okay, we can't open any other doors. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, I am going to go back to Fort Haven and let's see if anything happens. Okay, so we got this. You hear voice, your mother. She sounds different, exhausted, confused. She says, Viola, Viola, are you there? I thought I heard. Viola, oh, this cursed thing. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, I'm so relieved. I, I had a dream. A dream? She makes a strange choking sound. You've never heard her like this before. Another of the dreams. The dreams like on Sacramento. Like when I was there. The true dreams. What happened to you on Sacramento? They seem so harmless, you know. Offer gifts, tribute, wisdom, pleasure, whatever you wish, and then they have a way, a way. What what is it? Yes, I know. You wait for her to keep speaking, but there is just silence. You stand by the portal for a long time. Nothing happens. You are left feeling very alone in a strange land. Okay, well, we've got somebody new here. There's a merchant waiting for you in Chief Miranda's office. As Haven's influence expands, trade is increasing dramatically. Miranda says, Princess, this is Minhir. Just arrived at Great Port from Haven. He says he has a proposal for you. Greetings, Minier. What do you want? I'm so gratified, Princess, and I'm most impressed by the wonders you've worked on this beleaguered colony. I have a proposition, one that will benefit Haven and incidentally yourself. Come on. Haven imports potions from Mario. They're masters of that trade. However, nobody has ever imported their elixir. It increases longevity and has certain pleasurable effects. I will buy elixir from the Ariel and ship it to Haven, an exclusive contract. In return, 
you will receive gold plus an initial fee of a fair amount of quicksilver. What did my mother think of such a trade? Uh, the queen was skeptical. She was afraid of the elixir, of what it does to the mind. Of course, the simple people of the Ariel Forest are much less developed than the wise and stout people of, the ha of Haven. Miranda, do you see any problems with this? I would never presume to lecture you, princess. However, I think I, just speaking for me, Elixir has had a ruinous effect on the Ariel. I would not have it in Haven lands. Also, the Ariel are very protective of their Elixir. If you take it from them, there is sure to be violence. It will be much more difficult to guard the roads. And many are snorts. I'm sorry, chief. Nobody ever gained anything from such cowardice. I made my decision. <laughs> yeah. It is now forbidden to export elixir. Make sure the Ariel knew I said that. Also, have you near Bert and beaten? Chief Miranda grins with pleasure. Yanir starts to speak, but she says the princess is very, very busy. No time for sellers of madness. This audience is over. Okay, um, so this is three. Tell me of the disaster. More proper missions. Secretary claim. Okay, so Glorious Spear, we still haven't really sorted that one, but I'm not sure where any more stones would be, and I don't remember where I put the stones. Uh-oh. <laughs> um. Okay, they're bound to be around in one of the forts. I'm just not sure where. Um, we were in there, we should check. We're still really low on wood, and now we're getting low on Quicksilver, and, and things are just generally running out. This is not good. and check the chest here. Did I not even look up here? Where are there? Promoter. Clipboard. Okay. Lots of talk. Or nothing. I'm surprised I didn't explore up here. I, I thought I had. 
Maybe I was just so sort of distracted with everything else around here. Oh, 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 I may have an idea as to where we need to go. Not for the stones, but for for the eye. The Ariel crystal eye begins to hum. Yes. You take it out of your pouch and inspect it. It is vibrating. It senses some strange magic. Yes, 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 yes. Because I remember. I remember this. Whoa! Hello! I thought I cleared you guys. What are you doing back? This stone tablet. The uh, writing vanishes as you lean close. Then you have inspiration. You look at the tablet through the Ariel crystal eye. The writing is visible again. It says hello. Let's try the right on it. The writing shifts on the stone. Just speak, I can hear you. Who are you? The writing shifts on the stone. I am the statue. You look at the statue again. It is huge, masculine, impressive, dotted with moss, and completely immobile. Um, who made you? Fine roll crafts oak. I was placed here. Why is this castle abandoned? I don't know. I heard fighting, screaming. None of it came back here. Then silence. Why can you talk? I don't know. When I awoke, I was already here. Just me, alone with my yearning. Okay guys, we'll learn about this yearning in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye bye!